Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Insanity Challenge in Farming Simulator 19 where uh, we need to pick up some contracts, I think. It has been pointed out to me, by the way, that the biggest mistake I've made so far was actually getting rid of the uh, the Combine in Episode 1. <laughs> and, oh there's a bailing contract. I couldn't even do that if I wanted to, oh my god. <laughs> to, so... That's a contract where you've got a mow, windrow, bale and wrap. Holy cow, that'd be an interesting contract to do. Um, but we do have a contract here in field 31, which is, oh, quite a large field. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> We do have a contract, so we'll go grab that, and grab this, and we're definitely going to need to refill it, because 532 litres is... Yeah, I'm going to say 1,332% not enough for field 31. Um, also, please ignore the cliffs, as the uh, terrain tools to fix that are not out yet. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Hopefully very soon indeed. Um, so we will have to spend a bit of cash money right here on fertilizer. So I'm just going to set cruise control here and go into the shop while that's cruising down the road to buy some solid fertilizer. And we're just going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Well, we've got as many as we can. It seems like we're going backwards with the solid fertilizer, but that'll do more than just the one contract. So I don't mind spending a bit more than maybe I need to on the solid fertilizer itself. Out of curiosity, what contracts are actually available here? Are there any that we haven't done yet? We've got transporting, harvesting, and bailing. We're gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> We've got two, con two contracts for transporting that pay basically nothing. Um... But that's going to be basically what we do after this one, apparently. And, uh, by the way, I, it was pointed out to me uh, in episode 2 in the comments that, yes, contracts do generate over time, and I'm fully aware of that, but... And this is kind of a big thing for me, is it's a lot faster to just reload a save and force generate contracts. Um... Now, how are we financially... No, we can't take any more of a loan. Um, yeah, the single biggest mistake I've made so far was actually selling the Combine. Like, by far. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pallets here. Let's just get these two here, and that should be enough for the contract. I do like how the PTO wobbles. Or the PTO guard. You can, you can see there, it's completely stable. I don't know why it does that when it's swelling, but I, it's something you just have to deal with. And it's completely stable, and then you start refilling, and as the PTO powers up, it starts to wobble, which is very nice indeed. Yeah, you can kind of see an indication the PTO's running, which is very nice and hasn't been in farm sim before. Um, also, it would appear two of the hydraulic or air lines aren't actually attached to the... Three of them aren't attached. That's very interesting indeed. So that's literally all the fertilizer we could afford. So it's off down to field 31. This is actually going to be the fastest way. Uh, off down to field 31 to deal with it. I apologize, by the way, for episode 2 being so hilariously long. Um, it wasn't intended to wasn't intended to be that long, but I kind of... Because I was recording it in multiple parts, it kind of got away from me a bit. But what I'll do is I will skip forward until we're at or finished field 31. And then we'll see what new hell awaits me uh, from there. So I will get catch you guys on the other side of this uh, skippy do.
We we've arrived at field 31, and uh, let's just immediately jump right in. The crop here is quite short, so it should be fairly easy to see where I fertilize, which is nice. Um, another thing from the comments that was pointed out to me is that yes, I could use crop destruction to uh, figure out where I've been, where I need to go yet. Except for the fact that it only works on fields you actually own. This is a fun little thing in FS19 is if you don't own the land, uh, which I don't own any land basically, barring the little plot that my house and uh, contracting shed are, is on, um, if you don't own the land, you can't you can't use crop destruction. It does not work. It it's non-functional. So while I could use it to do these missions, I physically can't um, because I don't own the land. So it it's switched off uh, entirely. It's a kind of a good thing. It stops trolling in multiplayer. Um, but the downside is is it does prevent. Um, me from seeing what the hell I'm trying to do. So, you know, it's good for multiplayer, bad for doing contracts, unfortunately. But with the spreader nearly full, with 11,000 euros worth of uh, fertilizer in it, we should be pretty good to do a few contracts. Uh, here and make a bit of money. Problem's gonna be there's this is the only fertilizer contract we have available. The other two are um, transports, so I may run into some issues if uh, the only other contracts that generate are harvesting contracts. Now there is one thing that I'm considering doing, and. Uh, it's a bit of an extreme solution that is only because the land prices on Estancia La Pacha are so much higher than base game maps. Um, in fact, so much higher that I kind of got a bit worried as soon as I saw that. Because uh, the cheapest plot of land is the one of the ones that I bought at 300,000. Um, like, if I just... I'm just going to stop our, uh, spraying or fertilizing here and show you guys. The the plots of land here are quite insane. You know, field 3, 218,000, 216, 552 for this one field here. 244, 285, 312. Okay, so I could get fields 4 or 5. But the some of the plots of land are just really prohibitively expensive. So what I am tempted to do... Especially seeing as this plot here is 350,000. Um, and I was kind of expecting it to be in the region of 200,000 for a plot this small that can't be worked. Um, is I might just pop the money into the save enough to get a combine and header. Um... Which, yes, would be cheating. And that's why I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments whether or not I will be allowed to do that. Um, you know, this is a challenge map. This is a challenge save. So me doing a convenience thing like that is really being left up to you guys. How am I doing with the fertilizing here? Out of curiosity, I need to turn off the needs plowing. Pretty terribly, it'll do. It's a bit wasteful and just looking at how far I'm kind of covering again, but it's quite difficult in cab with no crop destruction to guide me. So it'll uh, kind of have to do. How's this pass looking? As it saves, it's not going to show me just yet. This pass looks like it might be better. This, that's a lot more of a full pass. Um, 
How are we doing contract-wise? 35%. We're about a third of the way in. Um, we, have, we obviously have nothing stored up. This is a... Actually, I think one of the toughest things that I've ever done in farm sim. I know I've done a similar challenge before, but... Starting with no fields makes this a lot more difficult by default. Because last time I did the Insanity Challenge, I allowed myself to have... Because that's the way it worked in 17... Some fields, some equipment, enough equipment to work the fields, and to use the fields, and to... Do one of everything. With this, I've started with nothing, and I have to do the contracts to get myself some money. And they're nowhere near as good as they were in FS17. Uh, financially. So, you know, this challenge is probably <laughs> 10 or 20 times harder than it used to be, because... While I gave myself small equipment before, I'm giving my I, I gave myself nothing as a starter boost this time. So I don't know. I think it might be a bit easier with the contracting system to stay alive. Um, but it's kind of a difficult to build up with the contracting system as it currently is. I kind of wish that the the rewards for contracts were maybe 15, maybe 20% higher. Um, maybe even like as high as double what they are now. Because you can make a profit, but definitely not much. In fact, I'm kind of concerned that we're not even going to make much of a profit off this off this contract because we're getting. We've used about sixteen hundred. We're oh no, we're going to make a profit. <laughs> Never mind. We're going to get back pretty much all the money we just spent on fertilizer from this mission. It's all going to be kind of uh, profit after that. Oh my god, I've missed quite a bit, so I'm not going to be able to miss much of the field after this. So we're going to go super tight into the passes. Um, and double cover quite decent chunks of the field. Just because I'm pretty sure that strip that I've missed is going to be the... Uh, like, there is a margin for error. You are allowed to miss certain bits of the field. But I think I've missed the entire margin now. So I'm going to have to make sure that I cover the rest of the field nearly perfectly. Um, in order to get mission complete, or, or contract complete. Um, I've been through, I, there's a bit of confusion between missions and contracts already, but it was a, apparently quite a late change made to the game. Um, oh, also, in the interesting news, I'm now actually running patch 1.1.3. Uh, the latest beta patch that was released on Wednesday evening. Uh, recording this Thursday morning, well, Thursday afternoon. It's tw uh, quarter to two in the afternoon at the moment. And uh, it seems pretty stable. Um, hopefully, the actual hotfix patch uh, will be out very soon. Hopefully, even by the time this video is up. Although I doubt that. Um, I doubt that it'll be out now, but hopefully very, very soon. Giants are doing their absolute damnedest to get things working, and I will be trying out my G27 in the coming probably day or so. And see if I can get that running the way that I want to, because I, I want to do a really convoluted um, control scheme involving a G27 and an Xbox controller that I'm not entirely sure is even possible, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um... What else is there to talk about right now? Yes, there is a second patch being worked on. Um, so the, the hotfix patch is just for the controller issues. Um, and a couple of major, kind of, bigger issues that also need addressing. There's something to do with Dolby Surround and game uh, crashes and multiplayer and ga you know game locking up and game crashes. Um, 
in various situations. Uh, but that's not going to be a bug fix patch. Because <laughs> I think some people are thinking that the bug fix patch is the patch that they're beta testing. 1.1.2, uh, 1.1, 1 .1 well, 1, 1, 1. 1. 1. 1, 2 and 3. They are not the bug fix, fix patches. Uh, the bug fix patch is much bigger. Uh, and will take a bit more time. They're... Uh, I think Lethian or Lizardhan said they're hoping to have it out. It's kind of a, a road map. They're hoping to have it out by Christmas. Um, and that patch will include a huge raft of bug fixes. As well as the terrain modification tool, the terraforming tool that everybody wants because the placement system needs it. Um... You know, and if they get it out by Christmas, great. If they don't, please don't crap on giants, because a lot of these bugs kind of just snuck up on them by doing other bug fixes, annoyingly. One of those annoying things in games where you try and fix bugs and they accidentally cause more bugs. How are we doing for progress here? 96%. This should be good. Um, so yeah, the bugs caused in version 1.1 1 .1 of Farm Sim 19. Uh, comically on it, like, some of you guys might know this, some of you guys might not. I went out to Germany a couple of weeks ago to preview the game with Giants, and, uh, yeah, that contract finished. So let's, uh, complete the contract. And I guess we're gonna do some transporting contracts, because I don't have much of a choice otherwise. <laughs> How much is the header for a combine? Like, is it 27,000? That is quite a lot. Hmm. How much is a baler? So it'll be 76,000, but I can wrap the bales. Okay. How much is a loading? 46,000. Okay, so I can't afford anything uh, particularly useful right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the transport missions. I will take this one. And obviously I'm not going to just walk up to the yard. I'm going to drive this back to the yard, pick up the forklift, and bring it over to the port, which is going to be a fairly sizable drive in the forklift. Um, so we're basically going to do a round trip here. I'm going to just ramp off the little uh, cliff here because it's a bit painful to get around otherwise. Oh no, this is not going to go well. There we go, kind of. There we go. Um, so I'm going to bring this back to the yard, grab the forklift and bring it down to pick up the uh, pallet for the transport. Where is it going, even? I'm not seeing any, like, finishing point here, or is it covered by... Oh, it's covered... I'm gonna have to fix that on the map. Um, filters... Let's turn... No. Yeah, let's turn these off temporarily. But that is, uh, yeah. Oh, they don't turn off on the minimap now. Good! Good. Oh, they don't turn off. So you can disable them. And then go, like, unpause and they reset. Good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna zip time forward and grab the forklift, bring it down to the port. And, uh, I'll catch you guys on the other side of this, then.
You might notice that I just uh, dropped off the fertilizer spreader and I'm driving actually back to the shop with the Fiat. Uh, what I decided to do before I go do the transporting contract is I need to actually pick up the equipment that I've just abandoned at the shop because the rules do say that stuff has to be kept indoors and I've just been leaving it outdoors at the shop this entire time. Uh, so that needs to be picked up, brought into the shed and uh, then I'll pick up the forklift and uh, bring it down and, and do the missions or the contract. So uh, I'm gonna leave you guys in another zip. I just figured I'd, I'd pop in and uh, let you guys know why on earth I'm picking up the equipment. It's because the rules say that I kind of have to and I've been conveniently ignoring that fact for the last two episodes. Um, so I'll be back with you guys afterwards and I'm going to continue listening to the podcast that I've been listening to. Alright, we finally made it to the port. Um, and we do have quite a quite a drive ahead of us with this uh, delivery of... What is it? I think it tells me what it is, doesn't it? 
Uh, items. <laughs> Useful. It'd be kind of nice if I told you what it is. It looks like bottles of water. Maybe medication of some description. But let's, uh... I dislike how slowly... The, uh, the forklift does react quite slowly to stuff, so sometimes you'll see me just jump it forward because it's decided to not react the way that I'd like. Uh, no, just just down, please. There we go. So off we go to the animal dealer, which... Uh, this may be worth zipping through, but I'm going to keep with you guys, because I think this is going to be the last thing we do in this episode. I should have enough time to record Monday's video straight after this one. Woo! Um, should have enough time to record Monday's video after this one, and uh, then get ready for Thursday's stream, which... Ooh, it's multiplayer. This could be fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna save and reload the game so that I get potentially new missions, new contracts generating. Um, I know they do generate over time, but it's much easier for YouTube purposes to force generate them through reloads and saves and reloads and kind of abusing that system, I guess, which may or may not be cheating, but just for my own sanity and the kind of the sensibilities of how YouTube works, it is a lot easier. Um, now, we do also have the other con uh, contract from the supermarket to the harbour, which may have been a much easier one to do, and I might still squeeze that in. Um, do you know what? Yeah, we'll squeeze that in today. I'm going to mute my mic up again, continue listening to my podcast, which, uh... I'm almost finished listening to it, actually. <laughs> but I do have another one ready to go after this. Um, for the next episode. So, uh... I'm going to zip over to the animal station. Uh, animal, um, the animal dealer. There we go. I can English. And then, um... Pick up the other contract. We're going to zip through both right now, and then I'll be back to sign off after that. So I'll catch you guys the other side of this lovely little zip.
Alrighty, we're arriving at the port at long last, the harbour, officially. I'm gonna call it a port though. <laughs> I can call it what I want. His name is John. Um, with the uh, final contract we can really do <laughs> at the moment. Uh, we start off this episode with what, 11,000 and something. Spend that 11,000 on fertilizer, all of it. And now we're up to 9,300 just from doing three contracts. So, I'm hoping that when I generate new contracts here, um, number one that, oh wow, there's, are there two different co cotton contracts? There are two different cotton contracts, that's interesting. Um, I'm hoping that when I generate new contracts, uh, by saving and loading in again, that uh, I will get some that I'll be able to do. If I don't, I'll be screwed. <laughs> I'll basically have to wait until uh, I see some comments from you guys letting me know if I can buy a combine and header to do the uh, harvesting contracts. They'll be painfully slow as well because the buys on is going to be the combine I'll buy because it's the cheapest. I'm not going to abuse the power of you guys letting me do something uh, not strictly within the rules. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys if we're screwed in the next episode uh, or when I check back in after saving and reloading. Um, if not, then I'll do some more probably fertilizing missions because that's all we seem to get. Uh, but I'll leave you by saying I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching the Insanity Challenge in Farming Simulator 19. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, leave your comments in the comment box of goodness. Until next time, stay safe, and goodbye. <laughs>